Hi YouTubers, hi everyone. Today, <laughs> these guys behind me are solar cells. As far as you can see, and that's true, from the newest ring one, uh, super solar panel to the normal solar panel ring and to the oldest ring too. The oldest one is the thickest and of course it has a uh, not so good it has 7.2 volt basically 6 volts 5 volts 2 watt and these two are 5 watts just different colors right but they're same and this is the newest addition to my super solar panel 5 watt so According to the papers, it has to give you one amp on a perfect sunlight. Let's first measure the voltages. Okay, voltages. Okay, this one. Four point six. Four point six. If you unplug it, that was the charging voltage. If you unplug it, that would be short circuit voltage, which is five oh six. That's this one. And I'm gonna just measure short voltage of this guy here. Mm -hmm. This one. Red to red. Mm -hmm. It's so hard to do it with one hand. Just bear with me for a second. So, this one and this one. There you go. 5014. Oh, That's the black one, but normal. Normal stuff. And that was this one, and that's short voltage. And this one is mm -hmm. this one will be how much? It's really, really, really hard to do it with one hand. I made it so so short. Obviously, I wasn't prepared for this. Anyway, five zero two eight, and that's how I hold it. <laughs> and voltage of this one, we're talking about open voltages. So without, except for the for the one, uh, the big one. That one is 502. I want to check something. I'm going to take it out. Apparently, if you take out because of these uh, glasses, like the windows here, they have uh, e-glass, e-coating. So there is a, apparently there is a protection, and they stop the solar light. So let's go outside and do the measurement outside. Let's start with the lowest one, just the voltage, and when you have voltage, of course, if you do the voltage, then the amps will be going up too. So let's do the voltage first. Mm -hmm. I have to do it again, really, really hard. So, black and red, mm -hmm. like this, and all with one hand, right? And actually, I'm holding the camera with another one. Work with me. 
Oh, that's wrong. Cannot be that low. 5021. 5021. And now we're gonna switch to the amps just to see. Show the amps. And do the same. So this is red. This is black. 400 milliamps. So that's about right. They say 400. 340 but 400 if you don't charge it that should be about right so let's bring the let's bring the big one outside and the check the solar Outside, how does it charge outside? Okay, the big one outside, same spot, same position. Let's check it. It's gonna be much easier now, but we're gonna do a real test. We're gonna do the real test with the, the camera charging, so we wanna see the charging current. Okay. I'm gonna plug this into camera and see how it charges. Okay, plug the old way. Wow, 800 milliamps. 800 milliamps. And it says one amp, so it's not bad. Let's check the current, uh, the voltage. Quick. So, red and black. This one here. This one here. 4.8. And if you unplug, supposed to be uh, I mean 5 or 58 so not much 5 or 59 same and if you plug it then it's gonna show you real voltage working voltage And bear with me. Let's, let's undo this thing and then start the real current, not the open circuit current. So, and that's the only way we can do it if we remove one of these guys. We remove this. We unplug it from here, and that's the only way. And that's a minus, and that's a plus. If we touch it together, we're gonna get a real voltage. But we wanna before that we wanna switch to the amp meter instead of voltmeter, and do this and touch this, and voila. You have a 620 milliamps going into the battery, into this uh, 
ring uh, battery camera it's charging really really good and that that's why it's charging very very nice so I'm gonna leave this set up and just to check the inside just to prove that that outside the Sun is much stronger than the inside Sun because it has to go through the through the window let's go just gonna measure that just gonna measure this I can't it's too heavy just gonna grab this sorry about that after my car accident I'm spending too much time at home. I'm still going on rehab and stuff. Just slowly healing. This is not heavy, but it's just bulky. Let's put it again at the same angle like before. But hook it up to the device. Now let's measure the real current. There you go. That's about the same. Didn't change anything much. Measure the current. Okay, minus is here. Come on. This is plus. And this is minus. 570. Okay, just need to reverse my contacts here. 560 so not much not much still almost 600 so about a hundred milliamps less but still charging with the 500 500 milliamps right 570 it was six something not bad not bad so this one they don't lie it's really good this one charges it's the thickest and smallest and oldest, but still charge about the 300 milliamps, ideal. But 200, probably 150, and these guys, they charge 480, but actually they charge probably around, uh, around the 300, 250 something. And this one, even if it's not ideal, uh, it's going to charge like probably 400, 400 milliamps. There you have it. Real test. The real solar panels. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Hi, one more time. Just want to show you the result of charging. So, two batteries. And that's the uh, result. I started with a uh, 20%, I think it was 19 or 20% this morning. Now it's 46. It doesn't charge the right battery, it just charge the left battery, which is awesome. So it does work. And especially works because I'm charging this morning on this the higher battery. <laughs> Super solar panel from Ring guys. And of course it works. And it's ideal. If it's not ideal, it would still be working. But look at the size of it. Look at the size, right? It's uh, quite, quite big. And of course, it's going to be charging, even if it's uh, not ideal condition. So, not good light. I, I bet it's going to slowly recharge the battery. One and a second. And that, and that was everything for today. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.